Are you looking at the last minute deals today before the We've been looking constantly, to be fair, since I took over as um, on a caretaker basis. Um, we've constantly been looking, and, and today's no different. You know, obviously the window shuts today, and um, there's there's potentially one or two that could happen. Um, but again, it's it's the same. Uh, quite often, you know, you get to the last day, or maybe you get to the January window, and it can be sort of panic stations to get people in um, and I'd I'd never do that I don't think that's that's the way to do your business if it's if we do anything today it's because it's a player who, who we think well we, we're very confident will come in and improve what we've got and um, you know bring something to the party so to speak again there's there's talk we've had inquiries about a few of our players uh, as you would hope um, I mean Jack Grimmer's come back from his loan at Shrewsbury um, and Mickey Mellon was absolutely delighted with how Jack did there. He did tremendously well for them, and it it was a big, big loss for them for Jack to come back to us. But you know, we, we made the decision to call him back. He's, he's obviously our player and had done very, very well. Uh, but we sort of softened the blow for them a little bit. And Josh Pasley is now gone um, to to fill the void sort of left by Jack. So you know, hopefully we've we've helped him out there, and it'd be good experience for Josh to get out on his first first loan move as well. So that's. Uh, Hopefully, you know, we're happy and they're happy. Could, could Jack Rimmer be involved in the weekend? Yeah, he could be. Yeah, definitely. He's, he was certainly in consideration. I mean, I wouldn't have called him back. I would have just kept him there playing unless I was seriously considering being involved for the weekend. Um, like I say, he's gone out and done really, really well for Shrewsbury. They won the first six. Obviously, lost narrowly to Chelsea in the Cup. Um, and Saturday, was strange enough, was his first defeat uh, away to Exeter. Um, but though he's done very, very well there, yeah. So I, w I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't call a player back um, in Jack's circumstances unless it was with a serious view for him being involved. How's it been lifting the morale after the defeat of Brentford? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it, it hit everyone quite hard because it's more the manner of the defeat, you know. I mean, listen, they're a very good side. I've got no no qualms to that. And if they had gone two 0 up in the first half, we'd have got a goal back and lost two one. It wouldn't have felt as bad, but it's the way the game panned out. You know, they were the better team first half quite comfortably, but we sort of managed the game and managed to stay in it quite well. But then to be one new up, such a short space of time to go and actually lose it, when I felt really we'd, we'd weathered the storm and there wasn't a massive sort of goal threat from them at that stage, and so it was, that made it really galling and hard to swallow. But yeah, it's one of them, and I, I'm not I'm not very good at losing myself really. So you know, we had to. To lick our wounds, so to speak, and 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 pick ourselves up. But the boy's been excellent in training this week, so I've got no no qualms in that at all. We obviously did the review of the game, went through that, spoke about certain areas we need to improve on, as uh, as we've done every every review from every game. So yeah, it's, it's not it was, it was like hit hit everyone hard, and the change room after the game was was a uh, was a desperate place. And I'm thinking back now, reflecting on that now, that's a good thing, you know. If 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 it wasn't so desperate in there, having just lost two one to your local rivals when you you know your your noses are in front with nine minutes to go, there's something very very wrong. So as much as it was horrible in that change after the game, I'm glad it was because that 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 horrible feeling of losing in that manner, you know, you want to stay stay in that, in players' minds and they don't want that experience to happen again. And Brighton this weekend, what do you make of them? Yeah, well, I've watched them a couple of times. I mean, as it's sort of panned out, um, I've been able to watch them sort of myself as well. Obviously, we've had all the scouting reports on them. Um, they'll certainly play football. You know, they, they play out from the back. They're a good footballing team. Um, he's got players there. They're, they've got a style of play. They're comfortable on the ball. And it will be, you know, you would imagine it will be a good football game. Um, so there it's typical championship anyone can beat anyone so it's again it's going to you know we, we know we're going to have to play close to our best to, to get a result there but you know that's what I'm expecting us to do they've got a few former Fulham players who are, who are around Fulham last year in the squad but they just signed Darren Ben it didn't really work out for him Fulham but he's got a great habit of scoring his debut to be a threat tomorrow or Saturday yeah well of course this one you just kill me there but that. that's the typical thing you know that that, that people say and that happens but it, yeah listen it's, it's, it's obviously a good move for him um, and after Saturday we wish him luck you know simple as that but no it's, it's good there's a lot of a lot of old Fulham faces will be there on Saturday good to catch up with them um, the doc 
has gone there as well. The, the, the doc, our old doctor, he's uh, he's there too. So it's yeah, be be nice to see them and have a drink with them and hopefully be commiserating them after the game. David Stockdale, I know you weren't involved with the first team when he left, but as a Fulham man, were you surprised when you went in the summer? Um, Stockholm, someone I know, I know very well, and he played for me quite a lot with the twenty, or a few times with the twenty ones, and he was, he was excellent. I've got to say, as um, you know, his performances, but the way he was with the younger players as well, he was a real good character, great, great lad, Stockholm. Um, it was one I seen like, again. I wasn't obviously involved with with any sort of decisions at first team level whatsoever uh, back then. So you know, I can't really comment on that. But you know, he he was pleased with his move, and he's he's happy at Brighton. And you know, again after Saturday, I wish him all the very best. And I mean, you could drop back into bottom three and results go against you. Is that something you're worried about, or are you still looking more up the table rather than behind you? Well, it's both. I think you've got to be conscious of um, uh, of both of those things. You know, you've got to, got to look to be getting up the table, but then certainly. <clears throat> not get complacent or blasé about the situation because it's you know it's so tight and so tough and will be for a long time you know you can put three wins together and and be sort of start start looking really really useful in the table or three defeats on the spin which you know can easily happen as well and you're, you're right back really in the thick of it so yeah I, I mean I'm, I'm looking up without a doubt but you've, you've always got one eye over your shoulder because there's you know, you look the teams below us in the league, as good teams below us as well as good sides above. So it's it's a very tough, very competitive league, and it's. I think I love it though because I think it's so honest the championship, and you know it, it makes you stay honest um, in it if if you want to be successful, and you know that's what we are as a, as a football club and group of players and staff. So looking forward to it.